Uh, when I point at you, would you please state your name and where you're from? Emily, Indiana. Jenny, Cincinnati. Sarah, Canada. <laughs> why, did you, why did you say it like that? Canada, like that. Why did you say it like that? You were trying to make Canada sound more interesting than it actually is. Sure. <laughs> Canada, I agree. Canada is a fantastic place. I love Canada. I enjoy your things, but I have never, I've never heard any Canadian say I come from Canada. <laughs> Like, the really exciting place of Canada. Like, most Canadians are pretty self-confident. Like, I'm from Canada, like it, or don't. I don't know. We're she awesome. She takes pride. I am. Lots of pride. What part of Canada are you from? Toronto. Oh. Oh? No, Toronto's fine. It's a lovely place. Is it now? It is, actually, yeah. I've, I enjoy the uh, Massey Hall. That's a nice place, isn't it? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's the biggest concert venue in Toronto. Well, we have no Neil Rogers Young then. played in Massey Hall. He made an album there. <laughs> Neil Young's a singer. <laughs> anyway, what's the name of that effect? The Hawthorne. The Hawthorne effect. Now, here's what I think has happened. The Hawthorne effect is beginning to occur on, on this show. You know what the Hawthorne effect is, ladies? I'll tell you. The Hawthorne effect <laughs> is when you, you study something, a, you know, a, a creature, a human, or any experiment, you study them, and when they become aware of being studied, their behavior changes. Like people in reality shows, they, uh, they may be not as douchey as they are when the cameras are on, but when the <laughs> cameras are on, then... <laughs> <laughs> they began to become a little more douchey. <laughs> yeah. And I think I'm beginning to notice it at the start of the show. I think by your own admission, ladies, you've seen this show before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. That was a risk. So... <laughs> So I think what happened is the Hawthorne effect occurred there. Instead of saying, you know, I'm far I'm from Canada, you went, I'm far I'm from Canada. <laughs> Yes. What, do you, what do you think? Hi. Anyway, why, why are you in L.A.? We are in L.A. because we had a pharmacy conference this <gasps> weekend. Mm -hmm. you, you know about drugs? <laughs> I really like you girls. <laughs> Hey, uh, we're going to send you out to go to a great restaurant in L.A. What's it called? It's called Sewer. Sewer? Oh, Sewer. That's the, um, the uh, lady that's in Beverly, Lisa Vanderpump's yeah. restaurant. I've seen that show. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know that restaurant? Yes. That's the one you're going to. Oh, Everything, everything went well then. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you are you pissed at me from the Canada thing? I was just no. kidding. <laughs> no. That's just fair. Yeah, that's just fair. <laughs> Why am I always interested in the women that seem pissed off? <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
relax, take the weight off your feet, uh, unbuckle your pants, undo your top, rub yourself gently in the chest area, perhaps squeeze your buttocks and then release, and then squeeze and then release. I'm getting a new workout video going on. What do you think? Yeah, I like this. Squeeze. Yeah, this, uh, this is my buttock workout. You ready? Yeah. Squeeze. Release. Do it. Squeeze. And release. That's my new catchphrase. Squeeze. And then release. What do you think? We should, uh, that's our vaudeville act. Squeeze, squeeze and release. Squeeze and release, yeah. I'll be, I'll be squeezed and you'll be released. Yeah, I will. Yeah, you come on at the end. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it got dirty earlier tonight. I blame the studio audience. They look raunchy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, you look much raunchier at home. <laughs> Sitting there in your slanket. <laughs> you got a slanket? Yeah, I got a slanket. Ah, I love wearing my slanket. I get my slanket on because it goes back to front. You wear it like that, and then when you go to the bathroom, it's like you're in hospital, but sexy. <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> I'm going to the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> a great day. A great day here in the city of Los Angeles. You know, the uh, Los Angeles, that's Spanish for the Angeles. Yes, that's, that's very factual. That's true. <laughs> It was the, it's election day here in LA. We've got a new. Uh, we're, we're going for a new mayor because uh, we have the same mayor for the last eight, eight years. Our mayor has been Antonio Villarosa, or as I call him, the Forbidden Mayor, <laughs> because he got busted having an affair with a reporter. <laughs> Correct. He likes to squeeze and release. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You know, at one point, uh, our mayor was seen hanging around with Charlie Sheen, and apparently they partied together a couple of times, and everyone's like, why would the most powerful guy in the city, a role model, a, a pillar of our community, why would he want to hang around with the mayor? But he did! <laughs> See what I did? Yeah, yeah. Went one way, went the other way! It's like a real late-night show, except you turn around and the band is not there! And why is the band not there, Michael? I'll tell you why. Don't even ask, Michael. I'll tell you why. Because we don't have any money. <laughs> but we don't let that stop us, just like most everybody else. <laughs> That's very accurate, Greg. <laughs> Anyway, Via Rosa got some stuff done as the mayor. He was all right. He planted some trees and stuff. <laughs> and, and he was able to run L.A. without a lot of interference from Governor Schwarzenegger, mainly because Arnold couldn't pronounce Via Rosa. <laughs> Jeff, what would it sound like if Arnold tried to pronounce Via Rosa? <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 the hell would it forget it. <laughs> <laughs> The first mayor of Los Angeles was a gentleman named Stephen Clark Foster. Do you have a picture of him? There he is. Now, that's when... That's right, laugh at him. That's when L.A. was run by a gnarly old prospector. Yeah. Can I be the mayor? Yeah, why not? You're the only one here. Okay. I vote for me. I'm in. Hooray! Where's Charlie Sheen? But it is time for some new leadership here in L.A. It's been almost a decade since we've had a new mayor, and it's starting to seem like mayor of L.A. was one of those jobs for life, like Supreme Court judge or host of The Tonight Show. Whoa! Oh! Yeah. Oh, what? Whoa! What? Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Craig, don't get involved in all of that! In all of what? On that kind of Facebook page argument that's going on. <laughs> Anyway, the front runner for the mayor, uh, a new mayor of LA, is a guy named Eric Garcetti. Uh, and there have been negative ads about how Garcetti is this hipster. And I'm like, I quite like a hipster mayor. Tax breaks on skinny jeans. 
free handlebar moustaches. <laughs> and the, well, one of the other candidates is a gentleman called Kevin James, not the actor. This is Kevin James, a former lawyer and gay Republican. Now, Kevin James and the actor and Kevin James, the politician, very different, of course. One is the King of Queens and the other is... <laughs> <laughs> you see where I went? Not that different. <laughs> Now, I don't know much about Kevin James, the politician, but I respect him being a gay Republican. That's not that easy. It's not, a, it's not an enormous group of people in the country. There are some, but there's not any, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Republicans are like, I want to vote for him, but he's, you know, he's one of them. And, and gay people are like, I want to vote for him, but, you know, he's one of them. <laughs> Everybody's in a quandary. Now, another candidate... <laughs> Yeah, you, you, if you're looking for smart comedy, you'll find it in here somewhere. <laughs> but you have to be smart enough to find it. <laughs> anyway, the third candidate is a woman named Wendy Gruel. Now, now victor, a victory for either you know, three of these candidates would make history because Ellie has never had a female mayor or a Jewish mayor or a gay mayor. So I'd be very impressed if the candidate was all three. I would be... <laughs> This is who I want to. I want Jennifer Fierceberg to win. <laughs> that would be great. Hey. Hey. <laughs> now, posters say the race is too close to call. Statistically, statistically, it's, yeah, that's a word. <laughs> it's very, it's very tight race. It's tighter than, it's tighter than Nicole Kidman's forehead. It's a very, t oh, oh, I lost them. I lost no, them. You lost them. No, how dare you insult Nicole Kidman's forehead. That wasn't insulting. I just noticing that it's a certain tightness about it. That's all. Probably, probably because she's got an immense brain, which is squeezing, squeezing. It's like what I do with my buttocks. It's like, squeeze. Anyway, whoever takes over, uh, you know, Los Angeles got their work cut out for them because Ellie is bankrupt, morally. <laughs> I mean, financially, we're not much better off. I'm saying we're broke and evil, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and according to the polls, the LA voters say they want a candidate who can restore the city to its heyday. And I'm like, when was that exactly? <laughs> I'd like if someone just tells us, look, this city is a crap hole. It's always been a crap hole. It always will be. Since the first prospector mayor arrived here and said... Maybe I should, maybe I should, I should run yeah. for the mayor. Yeah. 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 And now, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, paid hobos, but I never could, because I couldn't run for office. I've got too many embarrassing skeletons. <laughs> And release. <laughs> hey, you want to uh, you want to do the? Uh... You want to have sex? No. No. <laughs> no. no uh, you want to do the commercial break? Yes, I'll take. But if you, you you say the commercial break stuff in there, and I will slowly head in your direction. Okay. All right. Good. Will you be able to concentrate while I'm moving my bottom backwards at you? It's going to be hard. You're watching The Late Late Show because really, what else do you have to do? special here at CBS where the results are in and uh, Jeff I think we've got a winner it is uh, we don't give a uh. <laughs> very popular candidate yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to save money on flags so I'm doing this when I say <laughs> <laughs> for now anyway what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time, brought to you tonight by Late Night Douche, for when your talk show has that not-so-fresh feeling. <laughs> Twitter is the thing with all the tweets. You and your friends stay in touch, but never me. So now the time has come to check the 
Dot tweets and your email partner, Ash Mode. Uh, all right, this is from uh, Gary in Pacoima in California. You ever been there, Jeff? Pacoima. Pacoima. Oh, what a place. Isn't that the place where you've got a place? Yeah, i got a place of two places there. Two places in Pacoima? Yeah, I, I, well, I own a laundry uh, laundromat. You own a laundromat yeah, in Pacoima? Do. Is it coin-operated laundry or a special uh, new type of tech laundry? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, coin-operated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Uh, uh, dear uh, dear uh, Craig and Jeff, says Gary, any advice for an aspiring young stand-up comic? <laughs> yeah, get a job, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's, that's solid advice, man. Well, what can, what can I say? Like, do what I did, you know? No, man. You get a fake fire and a gay appliance? <laughs> actually, that's not that bad. That's not, not that not bad. Too bad. I, not yeah, too bad. No, I actually, you know, when I think about it, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for you, man. Oh, thank you, man. I, I'm grateful. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? He's talking to my friend. <laughs> Bunch of sentimental bastards. I know, aren't they sentimental? You wasn't it James Joyce that said sentimentality is the refuge of the scoundrel? That's correct, Craig. No, it's not correct, Jeff. I was <laughs> testing you. I'm programmed to agree with whatever the hell you say. <laughs> no, I think it was somebody else that said patriotism is a refuge of the scoundrel. That is correct, Craig. <laughs> I can't remember now. Anyway, uh, Susan in Kansas City says, uh, Last night, I uh, think you accidentally mumbled when you were telling us Jeff's birthday. Could you repeat it, please? Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> This is from Maggie in Seattle. Seattle? Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. It's a very small village yeah. in the state of Washington based on Seattle, that's but true. it's smaller. So it's Seattle. I thought it's also when it rains on your testicles a lot. Seattle, yeah. Yeah. And when you have coffee <laughs> on your testicles. That's right. Uh, Maggie says, uh, Dear Craig, I may be. Uh, a merely a seminary student. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> but I, for one, appreciate the Danish philosopher references last night. Yeah, we did do a bit of Danish philosophers last night, but tonight, no <laughs> way. <laughs> That's it. Just when you think, oh, I'm going to tune in for a nice bit of Danish philosophy, move along. <laughs> move along. Uh, this is from Carol, uh, who uh, she doesn't say where she's from. No, what the hell, Carol? No, what the hell are you, maybe, Carol? Maybe, maybe she was from Canada. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, Jeff, 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 Ooh. Jeff, whoa. This is from the Latvian Institute in Riga in Latvia. Holy crap. Wow! <laughs> now, we've had a few emails from Latvians over the past little while. Yeah. And I want to say, as, uh, uh, as someone who's never visited Latvia or I don't know any Latvians personally, I think you guys are awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, dear Craig, we can't promise Latvians in spandex, but you'd surely love our country. <laughs> Did I say something about Latvians and spandex? One no, I, I, I can't remember what I said five minutes ago. Yeah, I know. I... <laughs> anyway, listen, I would like to visit Latvia. It's a former, uh, you know, it's, it was a part of the Soviet Union, and then they got their independence, uh, you know, at some time, and they, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're in the Baltics there. We should go, man. We should have a... I'd, yeah. I'd like to go. should have a squeeze and release party, man. It'd be great. <laughs> I'd like to go to Latvia. I'd like to go to Latvia. I bet you it's beautiful. I, I, I'd like to go with you. I don't know if they have the same electrical system as us. No, I'm, I'm used to sticking it in strange outlets. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
welcome back, my first friend tonight. This is how we introduce people now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my new friend <laughs> is a legendary talk show host. His latest talk show, Larry King Now, airs on Hulu. Take a look at this. <laughs> Love this you, audience. You, you look badass tonight, man. The black shirt and the tie and everything. You're like kicking in a gouge in the mud and the blood and the beer. You look good. I'm going to, I got to go to this dinner for Al Gore. It's uh, environmental. After dinner. this? Yeah, Bob. In the Spice middle of the dinner. night, you're saying then? You're no, going to this dinner? <laughs> this audience knows we take them. Oh, man. How long have you been in this game? Play okay. along a little all right. bit. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. This, this is only an L.A. kind of dinner. It's at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. <laughs> Streisand is going to be there. Barbara Streisand or the other one? Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis Streisand is going to be there? Yeah. Phyllis Streisand, uh, Sam Clooney is going to be there. Sam Clooney, yeah. <laughs> All the big names. All the big names, yeah. <laughs> so this is what, like uh, an Al Gore dinner, would you guys Yeah, it's at the Environmental Association in L.A. It's at a private I home. I didn't know you were a part of the environmental movement. Well, I've always I've got a part of the movement. I, I yeah. agree with it. I agree with that there's a danger. Well, but saving coming. planet Earth, you agree with that? Do I think that... <laughs> Come on, man, I'm look, la -la. with you. Come I'm, on. Are you out of your mind? Look at the weather. Yeah, I know. Look at the weather. Come on. I know, I know. It's, oh, it's crazy. Have you never been to an orgy? I find that hard to No, I know. <laughs> I, look, I'm a basically provincial guy. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Uh -huh. I'm a regular kind of guy. I started in broadcasting. I've had a nice career. Yeah. I had a heart attack. I recovered from the heart attack. Did you have your heart attack because you were having multiple sex partners at the same time? I think it was the day after. The day after? <laughs> and by the way, by the way, I'm really honored. In San Francisco, this Saturday morning, the uh, Cardiologists of America are gathering, and I'm getting an award. The first non-doctor to get that's this award. That's nice. For so that's our... nice. So you're, you're, are they making... That's congratulations. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Um, it's from the. Uh, That's really something. It's for the. It's for the work the uh, the Larry King Cardiac Foundation. My wife is the chairman of the board, and we founded it years ago, and uh, we've done. Do you, uh, do, uh, we help well, people who can't afford to. We get heart. That's what I was going to say. You you help people get heart treatments. Heart stuff? treatments. We've had transplants, surgeries. That's amazing, oh, Larry. Good for you, man. Yeah, That's okay. fantastic. Okay. I think. No, given the. Given that you're such an honorable and kind gentleman, let's just admit, you have been at an orgy or something like that. Well, just stop. Come on, Wait, man. Hold on. The 70s, Wait a minute. The 70s, come on. I think it. No, no, no. no. I, I think. Ho, ho, ho. I think you're into this. Well, I think, and you. Not with you, man. Why? What's wrong with me? Uh, you, I mean, nothing. <laughs> I just don't want to compete. <laughs> want to go walking on sunset? No. <laughs> no, you, you, th I'm not, I, I'm, you know, I'm a, basically a provincial guy. I just, Do you know, you? I, I, I come sense. on, you must have a little bit. No. Really? I, 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 I wonder about it, but I've never been to one. No. I've never been to one. What do you do at an orgy? Well, you know, basically, you know, you play what? guitar and take your pants off. <laughs> I don't play. <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> you never read that book, The Joy of Sex? You ever read that book, The Joy of Sex? No. No, oh, well, he's, he's this book, The Joy of Sex, right? It came out in the 70s. And yeah, there's years all these... I remember the book. I think right. I interviewed the author. Yeah, probably. And the, uh, I, interviewed every, I think I did. Yeah, you, you interviewed everybody. So in this book, because I was a kid when this book came out, and there were drawings of people having sex. And, and there was a, a chapter on group sex, and there was a picture of a naked fat dude playing the guitar. <laughs> so, and, you know, and, and some other people sitting around naked. So from that point on, I thought, I don't need to go to any orgies. I'm good. <laughs> when you were a child, yeah. who, who tipped over the crib? <laughs> I thought we were friends. No, I love you. Yeah. 
I, I, I love you. I love you too. This, I thought we were friends. Show, so show, I. Well, I have. There's a rumor they're gonna put this show on earlier. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah. I'm starting a rumor well, here. Right, right, right. Let me tell you something about that stuff. I hate all that. You do? You don't like all that? I don't like, I don't like all that. You, you know why? Because any time, you know that old Groucho Marx thing? I don't wish to be part of any club that would have me as a right. member. Right. I, I totally <laughs> subscribe to that. Are you, are you afraid of an earlier hour? I ain't afraid of Ooh la la! Okay. <laughs> then why don't you try? What if they are? <laughs> what if, what if, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, gotta, I gotta qualify that. I, I'm afraid of you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. All right, what if the powers that be, the suits, yeah. came to you and said, Fergie, <laughs> uh, how would you like to go on earlier? Maybe David Letterman will retire. It's an open spot. Fallon's going to go to NBC. Kimball's at ABC. CBS is sitting right there. Right there. Yeah, I think they should put on more CSI. <laughs> That's right. C CSI late night. Uh, <laughs> CSI. I think there's been a murder. Who did it? I don't know. Ask the band. You know, I mean. Then we can have just CNI, CSI, <laughs> law and order. Yeah. Criminal intent. Yeah. And what would ABC show? Uh, uh, what does uh, ABC have? I don't know. What do they have? Fox would do Idol, American Idol. American Idol, yeah, yeah. It'd be fine. It'd so, be all right. You could do it. You could do it, man. Oh, I would love doing that. Yeah, that would, you uh, should do a it, A piece then. of cake. Yeah. It is a piece of cake. They make a big deal. It's a piece of cake. You get out, you tell a few stories, you sit down, you ask some questions, you go home. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, Lawrence King. <laughs> well, I used to be Lawrence Zeiger. Lawrence Zeiger? That was my name at birth. And then when I started in radio, they changed my changed name. Changed the name of yeah. King? Because it sounded yeah, that, like... That day, my first day on the air, oh, that was some day. I was ner All my life, this is a true story, all my life I wanted to be in radio. I prayed. I just wanted to be on the air. I was since five years old. My only memory. I find that hard to believe. And finally, no, really. I just want... I'm just... I'm, look, I'm with you. It's fine. I, it started at my bar mitzvah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway I, I finally get a job at a small radio station. It's my first day on the air. I'm up all weekend. It's a Monday morning and uh, the management is all excited and I've never been on the air before and I'm scared to death. And, and, I, and I sit down and I'm, the manager meets me and he says, this is your first day on the air. I said, yeah. He said, what name are you going to use? I said, Larry Zyka. He said, it's no good. I said, I'm going on the air in a minute. How about, and he had an ad open to the Miami Herald, and it said, King's Wholesale Liquors. I swear to God. And he said, You could have been Larry Licker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, and then, or, and then you'd be very popular at them orgies you keep denying. <laughs> or Larry Wholesale. Oh, well. Okay. Anyway. Now I sit down, I'm ready to go on the air, I'm playing the opening record, you know, Les Elgar swinging down the lane. Dun, dun, dun. I turn on the mic, <laughs> nothing comes out. Oh, no. I'm scared to death. I bring up the music, I bring down the music, I bring up the music, I bring down the music. If you're listening at home, all you're hearing is a, a record go up and down, up and down. <laughs> and finally, I, the manager kicked open the door to the control room and he said, this is a communication business, damn it, communicate. <laughs> and I put on the microphone and I did something that day that I would do to this day. I was just honest. I said, good morning. My name is Larry King. That's the first time I've ever said that. And this is my first day ever on the air, and I'm scared to death. And I always wanted to do this. You should start every show like that. That's right. <laughs> but I never was, never was nervous again, ever. Really? In broadcast. Because I learned something that day. What? There's no secret. Just be yourself. Like you. You're yourself. No, What's I've, there to be nervous? I, I, come on, what you are you know scared me. of? I, I told you, I'm not you, scared, man. You're not going to cure... <laughs> This is not going to change the world, no, right? No, it's not. Once you know it's not going to change the world, then you just relax and do it. Or throw it a commercial. <laughs> you gotta, what I'm saying is we're out of time. You have to throw it a commercial. Well, you, oh, you want me to throw it to a commercial? Yeah, come on. You know what you're doing. Folks, you've been enjoying it so far? Well, there's more to come.
You're watching The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. We'll be right back. There you go. Ask me who our next friend is. Who's our next friend? Let me tell you, Jeff. She's a talented actress and very attractive, too. She stars in The Girl, which is in select theaters this Friday. Please welcome the fantastic Abby Cornish, everybody. Abby Cornish. How's it going? Good. You look great. Thanks. I saw. I think I saw your your shoes sparkle they underneath. They sparkle. Your wow. Yeah. It, they, the, the shoes match the ring. Match. You know. I mean, there's there's some thought that goes into the whole. Yes, thing. there is. <laughs> and it's deeply appreciated. Can I see it? Oh, you click one of those oh, up there. Wait up. All right. Really? We're going to do this? Okay, yeah. Look go. at that sucker. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're good. Is it tough to walk in those? No. Really? These are actually quite comfortable. Should I should I do a little promo? Just fab shoes? No. Okay. <laughs> no, don't they're do that. They're awesome. They're so comfortable. They're all right, all right. Now get off. Craig loves them. <laughs> I think of you as. But the last time you were here, you were talking. You're like an outdoor girl. You run around in your bare feet and you're like you do, know. Does, has something changed? A little. You've gone a little Hollywood. I think. Have I gone a little? A little what bit. What do you mean? Tell me. Well, first Let's of all, let's talk about this. Craig. Well, you look a, you look very glamorous, which is a good thing. But okay. also, you've gone in a little Hollywood, like you, you know, did the promo for the shoes, and you know, you made sure to say hi to Jeff. Can I interject? I like it when you do that with your finger again, right there. <laughs> Should we just do the whole? We'll just do it like this, the whole interview, right. like this. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Ooh, wait up! Can't think. <laughs> Getting a little sweaty. Uh, <laughs> it's a little awkward, now. It's a little yeah. awkward. What happens if I do that thing? Oh uh, that's God. really horrible, isn't it? You know what? What? We should get Larry out here. No, no. <laughs> oh, for an orgy! For yeah! An orgy. No. no, don't. Where don't. is he? Wait. No, don't. Why? He wants to be out here. You know he wants to be I know he wants he to be He said he hasn't had an orgy, but he's thought about it. Well, let's let's ask. Do you, should we ask? Have you ever been part of an orgy? I knew this was going to come up. I was actually going to ask you why you wasted two and a half minutes talking about having an orgy with Larry and not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, I, you know... Just wondering. There is, no, I there's mean, a method behind this, because, you know, with Larry there has a comedic effect to it. With you it's a whole different mindset. Oh, right. I get it. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, what was the question again? I can't remember. <laughs> no, I was going to say that you know you you you've been very outdoorsy, but you know we've you know we've gone you a little holly, a little you just bit. Jumped. You just skipped so far from orgy. You were like you were like you know what? I can't even deal with orgy. Oh, all right. Let's go back. orgy then. All right. If you were in an orgy, what would be your position? Guitar or no guitar? <laughs> Strum you know or what? pluck? Strum or I, pluck? <laughs> I, I actually like to strum and pluck. Is that okay? That's good, yeah. I'm and European, I, so I can do both at the same time. And I love playing guitar, but there's a lot of other people who play guitar better than me. So I would actually probably, I'd have a little strum and a little pluck, but then I'd pass it on to maybe a, a really good-looking male who was really amazing at playing guitar, and then continue the orgy. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Is this no, okay? no, 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 none of that was about guitars, oh. was it? Yeah. I'm really confused. Let's talk about me becoming more Hollywood or something. Yeah, you're not. No, it's, it's no a... brainer. By the way, does that, do you have more than one of those mugs? Because it's the same mug from like three years ago. <laughs> you, has, can't, you can't keep crockery has... for more than three years, Hollywood? What's no. that? You throw it out? <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, wait, pass me your glitter ball. I want to make sure my, my uh, makeup looks good. Yeah, all right, go All on right, on let's then. just check. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> that's Hollywood. Um, no, that, that's, uh, that's, that's duct tape right there. <laughs> I used that at my orgies, I actually, yeah. I don't yeah. want to know. All right, well, put it back. You were the one that started grabbing I, for my ball. Well, can I, you know what else, you know what else I want? Well, two I want, bags I want. Money. Yeah, okay, two bags of money. There, there you go. You haven't gone Hollywood at all. <laughs> hey, and I got some sugar cubes for you, too. There you go. Well, you know what we think about sugar in Hollywood. No, nah, yeah, 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 you can't put it, you, you know. You don't need you can't any put of that. that. And also, it's for the it's horse, just... anyway. <laughs> don't you have a horse? I used to have a horse. Well, where is it? We, we always talk about animals and animals that die. My horse died. Do you, do you, can we? Oh, it's, not, it's not sad. It was, like, so long ago, and it died of old age. But, look, you also have... <laughs> well, that's cheered everyone up. Well done. But what are all the frisbees for? Let's talk well, about the well, frisbees, the frisbees while I, I hide the money somewhere else where no one will take it. That's it. <laughs> what happened? You've gone all like shifty. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so shifty. Okay, let's talk about what you want to talk about. What's been we going on? We did that already. <laughs> I got frisbees here because I got my because I got my horse over there. I got this new thing because you know I used to end the, the bit with like an awkward pause or maybe a blow of the mouth organ. What did, did you blow the mouth organ you were here last time? I'll blow it now. All right, you can blow it. And now I'll then. throw I'll throw frisbees too. If you can throw frisbees and blow oh, the mouth organ at the same time. Shivers, shivers. Yes, I'll do that. Let's you, do that. You should be calling Shark this a lie because they could use an act like that. Yeah. All right, you ready? Uh, I'll try it too. That's a nice technique you got. Let me see that again. <laughs> There's lipstick all over this now. Yeah, you got you got lipstick on the organ oh, right it's there. All over my face. <laughs> I just lipstick here. All of a sudden, I look like the Joker. <laughs> Jeff, you don't mind if I warm my testicles at your fire, do you? No, please. You're always welcome to warm your testicles by my fire. <laughs> so, how do you think it went, then? Did we learn anything on the show tonight? I learned quite a bit. Okay, tell me. Well, I learned uh, that uh, you enjoy playing guitar. <laughs> Oh, I can play the guitar pretty well. I can strum, I can pluck, I can finger that bastard until you can hear the angels. I'm really worked up right now. Well, I think I'm more close to employment termination. Well, it's something to aim for. It's always good to have an ambition. What's your ambition? My ambition is to be your yes man for all eternity. <laughs> I thought that you'd rather like to go to an orgy with Larry King. My name is Jeff. This is my first orgy. I'm scared to death. Good night, everyone.